Okay, so we're back with Chester. So this dog is all about motion. I can start out though just disengaging it. I think you need to be able to do that. Oh, and Mike, I know you're watching this. I'm going to, uh, I've got shoe bottom doing the train to retrieve now. And Crash is, I've realized Crash is learning it just by shoe bottom doing it. So, I don't know. I think that's the biggest mistake. If I try to have a bunch of reaction to this dog and react to its state, it would augment that state of being excited and stuff. And then I, I would be saying, how do I make it stop? So that's what you guys have to understand. Don't start it if you don't want it to stop. Oh, he's looking for the magic formula. You've got to be ready for that. I, I realize, it. boom, time has got to change. There's got to be changes in time. Anyway, so now I've got him. Um, You just got to, got to develop that mode. If they don't have that mode or they never lay down in your presence other than, you know, a function of just doing it on their own, then... I realize that I was just supposed to do this one. All right, so I've got the Martin on, and what I want you guys to understand is this thing is cold. The collar is cold. So when I'm putting it up there, whatever number is on there is kind of just irrelevant because it's just a major... So if you said, when am I doing the paper? I'm doing it to initiate movement. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to, I'm going to look at that platform first. He's not looking at my eyes though. He's not looking at my eyes at all. He's trying to figure out what can he do. He's not looking at me. He's trying to trigger me to do something. Dog and train. So I just did the pager concurrent because you know, if you said, give me a Cliff Notes version of what the pager is, it's a cue, and it's a guide, and it's an outline, and it's a flywheel. It's, it's so many different things. That's, that's why it's hard to describe, and it's hard to understand if you haven't used it before. All right, so look. I'm going to get him to come flying off of there, and that's going to be the subtask of heel. Though we're always going to start out heel with the big leap. He didn't do it. So. So what I ended up getting with this dog is a super, super flashy. He's trying to get over that platform and I'm cutting him off at the page. What I ended up getting was super flashy hoppy heel. Heel. And if you said you're posturing with your rod, I know! I gotta get my finger kicked off. But I won't be doing it. And you're gonna do it. I mean, I, I think you, you know, you do want to posture with your hands, but if you said they don't see that, you know, but I mean, I suppose I could confuse it for this. I have this thing in my hands. So that's going to be the subtask to the sit here. So I move this way. That helps kind of get it. And that's it. That's it. That's the end. I can add the other part later. But, you know, if I said I want this dog to be just super, super kangaroo flashy, um, but that's how I've got to do it. I've got to say the jump is what I want. So I go this way. So I'm saying the whole time, because this dog is a terrible jumper. Yay! 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 So what I'm, all I'm saying is. I like dog and training. 
I like jumping. I just don't like jumping on me. And I can put the leash on and do the same thing. And I'm just using the collar to outline where heel is. Just He's got a very good definition of where heel is right there because of the pager. So I'm going to tell you why he did it that time. Why he did it that time. And I need to remember that because I already had a little motion going before I did it. And just lays down. I guess not a true right now. 